Hey yo, it's me, Zeke 410. If you are new to the channel, make sure after the video, leave a like, leave a comment, and to subscribe and hit that bell button to turn on notifications for future WWE Champions content. This video is dedicated to my subscriber and my boy, Stan Nation, who requested in a previous video for a roster reveal. I had it on my mind, but since you asked, bro, I got your back. Now, forgive me for only having 26 health packs. The Hardy Boys uh, event just ended. I was doing what I could to get the final milestones that I could. So it is what it is. I will be back up to over 200 and aiming for 1,000 because having the more health packs means you can clear content without issue. And if you can stockpile it while having a guy like Enzo Amore, then by all means, that's the best thing to do. Just stockpile them so you can feud more. You can do blitzes and you can just do more content. Um, after that, my overall is 218,825. Now, what I want to showcase in this roster is how to properly build your roster, what to do, what not to do. These are just, these are things that I want to like uh, help you with. Now, if you already know what you're doing, then that's cool, but I'm going to treat this as if like you're a new player, you're just getting started, or you're an intermediate player, and you need some direction. I want to do this to help you out. Now, the main aim for this uh, for this game is collecting uh, is collecting champions. Whether you're free to play or pay to play, the thing is you want to build your roster so you can be able to do more things, especially now that you have the trainer feature, and especially now that Hell Mode has finally been released. I strongly, strongly suggest always taking a moment out of your day, out of your day the oh of the look over your roster and think about who's worth taking the three star gold if you know who you're taking the three star gold then you that then that's when you start to uh, like bust your butt and grind and farm and you just wait it out for an event events are where you want to do everything from leveling up your superstars with coins from using tp for their moves even if it's dupe tp um to uh, um like all the way down to enhancing uh, enhancing and fuse ups this is where you are going to get your rewards for your hard work you just want to save and wait for an event to use your resources especially now that you have the open all option open up those bags get all that extra stuff and go to town but you also want to make sure that you know aside from like your three star your three star goals you want to know who you're going to be making your like your trainers who are your go-to trainers going to be because your go-to trainers need to be at three star silver at 5k so that they can be max trainer ability for your go-to champions and i feel that since there's six classes there's six types and there's four classes the six types are acrobat show uh, they're, they're acrobat powerhouse um showboat striker technician and trickster now each one has an advantage over the other so acrobats have an advantage over showboats showboats have an advantage over strikers strikers have an advantage over tricksters tricksters have an advantage over technicians technicians have an advantage over powerhouses and powerhouses have the advantage over acrobats so you want to have champions in each of this class that are going to be a three star between three star bronze and three star gold but then you also have to keep in account that there's four types you have you have um you have four uh, four types of classes when it comes to like subcategory so you got your legends you have your new generation your attitude era and your modern era so i strongly suggest having 24 champions that are between three star bronze and three star gold that can be dependable during feuds blitzes and um very um like you know uh, very like restricted um events that require like a, sp a specific class or a specific um type so these are things you always want to keep in mind. Another thing you also want to think about is, okay, who are guys that I'm not going to touch? Or like, better yet, who are guys that I know I'm like going to get fuse ups for, but you know, I don't care for them and I don't use them at all. This is something you want to keep in mind. You want to keep people that you can use for events. So that way you can save tokens as well. If you are running low on resources. So then all you got to do is just press a button, fuse up and boom, they go from two uh from two star to three star now one thing i did learn from doing the enhancement on jeff hardy in a previous uh video is that in wwe champions if you do get a three star fuse up for a superstar that is one star or two star it will count the it will count the points for each um like each enhancement so i took um jeff hardy from one star bronze the three star silver and after i had done that i went back to the uh, to the other uh, to the milestone event for the hardy boys and i seen that it actually had included 
each enhancement as if like Jeff had gone from one star, bro, one star bronze to one star silver to uh to one star gold all the way up to three star silver. So having those kind of fuse ups during an enhance event will save you a lot on your tokens and also your coins. So that's also something to uh, to keep in mind uh, when it comes to things. And you also want to make sure you know who is going to be fodder. Fodder are, are champions that you use during feuds and blitzes. Basically, you take like one or two, um, three stars a into a, a feud or a blitz, and you cushion them with like champions that range from, you know, 300, 400, 500. And these are guys like you're not going to touch. So like, we're going to go over all of that in this video. This is going to be a, like a, a little time consuming, but I'm going to walk you through each thing so that you understand what, to do in your roster your personal roster and your personal account all while also showcasing my roster and like giving a little direction and a little bit of tips so you can improve your gameplay and be a better asset to your faction and just have a great time so this is what's going on i got uh, i got nine i got nine champions that are three star silver at the moment Eight of them are going to be going up to three star go through a three star gold, but actually one of them's already there. My trickster, uh, my go to trickster at the moment is Kevin Owens, New Face of America. He was my very first um, three star silver. I pulled him out of a four star pool when he first became available on the very first day, actually, that he was out. So I was actually very happy about that, and I'm glad that I got him to um, three star and gold. He's maxed out TP all of his moves. He is done. He is good to go. Next up is Jeff Hardy, who I got for free during the um uh, the hardy uh, the hardy boys um event and i got the fuse up for him like i said and so i took him from one star bronze all the way up to three star silver and then i got aj styles and aj styles is legit the only three star silver that i have ever pulled from a 30 pool like legit like pull did a pull and got a new superstar aj styles whereas jeff hardy is my very first three star silver fuse up. He's my very uh, my very first three star fuse up ever in a thirty pool. And Kevin Owens was my first three star silver in a four star pool. And then I got Y two J down below, who was my very first three star bronze in a four star pool. So that I had to cover that ground. Now AJ and Jeff Hardy are both going to go to three star gold. I'm going to wait for an event and do them simultaneously. Next up is my powerhouse, Big Cass, a very strong unit, um, two-turn killer with Bray Wyatt on him and Rusev, obviously, and I really rock with him. I use him basically to clear all my content normally because he's so fast with the blast gems. I just I just destroy the board and just keep moving on, especially with um like I like with my how my personal life is. I'm always on the go. I'm always busy. I'm always doing something. So in order to get to the doing these videos, I need somebody that's going to get content done fast, and I use Big Cast. So Big Cast is also going to be going to three star gold. Next up is Stardust. Stardust has been with me ever since I I started this account he's rocked with me ever since the very beginning and to be truthful i was actually sleeping on stardust i used to play with him a lot on um, my girl's account on gunch and black's account um and basically after that i realized okay he's good but then when i watched videos from gearson and lil c and um you know lil c was specifically i was like oh snap this dude is amazing so I started investing in him like right away, but he was incredible even at two star when I had him. But it was cool to get that confirmation from, you know, uh, OG player that, OK, this is a guy that a guy to work on. And that's one thing that I also want to advise, like knowledge is power. I watched a lot of videos from Gearson, from Big Papa Brian, from um, from Tuvement and, um, you know, from Lil C. And I still do because I, in order to be a master, you have to be a student. You have to continue learning and getting better. And these guys motivate me to become better. They motivate me to get one overall that that's like 500k. They make me strive to like you know get up to maybe like 15, uh, 15 million. Like like Canation like scored like 30 million in a feud. I want that. I like motivation like that, and I want to learn how to be better so I can teach my my teammates how to be better, and I can teach you how to be better. So, um, you know, Stardust has been with me since day one. Um, Enzo and Andre, both solid showboats, and I'm going to do the same thing with them that I'm going to do with AJ and Jeff. 
I'm going to wait and I'm going to three star gold both of them at the same time. Double A is going to be three star gold soon, but I'm basically waiting out for certain people because the thing I want to cover too is know who to pull for and know who not to. And like a guy like Slick Rick Showboat, who's out in the out in the um out in the um feature megas right now, is a very solid champion, and I would have no problems with ha making him an addition to my roster the same way with macho man um uh, acrobat i would have no problem with making them additions because i not only are they god tier champions but i'm a fan of them and i would want to build a roster with people that i really like and again going for these people that i really like you end up getting people you don't really want to use or like but sometimes some people are secret weapons and or some people you know are underrated they don't get enough um, credit because we know who the god tiers are we know who those certain people are but um double a is definitely going to be there i'm a huge fan i'm a huge huge fan of the four horsemen if i can get slick rick i'm going to be running him in the double a all day but he's on standby until i can pull slick rick and i'm also just going to keep on building up my showboat tokens so if i do get slick rick i can make him a three-star gold immediately uh, with the tp and everything i accumulate until a event I feel is worthy is up and running. Finally, my striker go-to is none other than Bray Wyatt. Bray Wyatt has been with me since day one alongside um, um, Stardust. He cleared a lot of content with me, but for for me, but I'm going not even going to lie to you. I used him a lot in the beginning, but I actually fell back on certain champions until I had all the TP and had everything I needed to make them three star because some people, uh, some champions are fun to use when you only got two stars and that's, that's a given. And sometimes you got to just work with what you got, but some champions I feel are better to hold out on and to make, take the three star and then fully use them. So that way you're not trinkling away all your resources. You can just, you know, okay, I got everything I need to make it from two star silver to two star gold to three star bronze. Let's go. You know, so like that's what I that's what I've what I've learned and that's what I did with Bray. I basically, you know, I, I basically grinded and I had I buy enhanced packs and stuff once uh, like here and there and everything. But, you know, you live and learn. And I saved up a lot of resources by just farming with Enzo. And I was finally able to do that with Bray. I could like literally was able to jump all the way to bronze and, and three star bronze. And he became a beast. And I saw why because of, from videos on on uh, from other YouTubers. And it was just one of those things like I'm a huge fan of Bray in real life. So to have him in the game is the same thing like having Jeff Hardy or AJ or Cass or Andre or Kevin Owens. I want people on my roster that I really like in real life people I looked up to, people who I love watching their matches. I love the storylines they were in. And that's what I try to do with my roster. I try to like give my roster a personality because I love all the champions that I have on my roster. I used to play Pokemon and I got no problem with uh, grinding out to get to a level 120 because I did the same with all my Pokemon to get them to level 100. So 20 extra levels isn't nothing for me, but I also want you to understand when you're building your roster, it can be tedious and it can be, you know, it can be tempting to go ahead and hit that enhance or that fuse up even when an event isn't running, but just make it worth it. Now, I will say this, if you do have a three or someone you really want to make a three star, and they are your first three-star bronze, and I say go for it. Give it to yourself. You owe it to yourself. But aside from that, after that, just save them and wait. It's safe to do everything for a event, especially now that the open all option is there. Now, when it comes to everybody else in my crew, I've got 96 superstars. Now, I count my roster as 95 because I don't like to include VIP Triple H all the time because sometimes I don't need it. I, I do. I get it sometimes, and sometimes I choose not to. So. I have 95 superstars I could truly just go right to and use them without question. And so following that, I made some mistakes. And that's what I'm about to teach you. Now, Roman Reigns' the shield is at three-star bronze. And legit, the only reason why he's at three-star bronze is because I, I literally um, I've been, like had, uh, had enough to do two three-star bronzes during an event during, I believe, Arn Anderson's event. And I could do my boy Sheamus, and I could do Roman Reigns. So I went and did that. And now I regret it because Sheamus is good. Sheamus is a solid champion, but I should have waited and done Xavier Woods first because that way I could have had Xavier Woods up to three star silver already. So sometimes you just got to learn from your mistakes. And when I look at Shield Reigns, he is good. He is he is a good trickster, but he's not the best. And 
you can't, there isn't a reverse button in this game where you can undo a, a fuse up or an enhancement. But that is a thought, champions. That is a thought um, to get tokens back to use on somebody else. And I wish you could. But you know what? I used them in feuds when I was getting started before I knew who to really use. And he held me down with that stealing health and stuff. I just wish he could steal more health. But it is what it is. Next up is Batista. Batista, honestly, is one of these units that I want to explain something that's very critical to you. Duplicate TP can save lives. I literally have fused up, like, literally, I have enhanced my Batista all the way down, like, from uh, from two-star bronze or two-star um, silver. I can't remember, truly. I got him, and I got so much duplicate TP for him that I literally have maxed out all of his moves just by using dupe TP. I have literally not used any color TP on him. And that's one thing that I also want to advise. You want to know who to use your color TP on. Anyone that you're taking the three-star gold, use the color TP on them. Anyone who's like, you know, someone you can use like for easy fuse-ups or enhancements and stuff, then I would use the fuse-ups. And this is something I want to state about fuse-ups as well while mentioning it, I'm mentioning it. When you do fuse ups, right? Fuse ups allow you to skip uh, uh, using tokens and spending all the coins to max somebody out. And one thing that's also crucial about fuse ups is let's say when you go to do pulls, just like when I explained about Jeff Hardy, when you don't see an explosion, it isn't always a bad thing because you got to remember you can pull a three star fuse up of somebody that you already have in your roster and you just didn't even realize it. Like you can pull. For uh, you could pull. Let's say you already have um, let's say like the you had um, let's see, let's say you had three star Mister Perfect. You pull three star Mister Perfect, and then Mister Perfect comes out again at three star silver, and you pull it and you get it. That allows you. That allows you to bypass all those coins for leveling up. Uh, leveling up that helps you bypass putting all those tokens into them. And it also gives you a lot of points during milestones and events. So fuse ups are something you really want to hold on to because they really are going to be clutch. And it really does help you out with enhancing certain people that you don't need. So getting fuse ups of Mark Henry, fuse ups of Titus, or, you know, um, Striker Kane, hold on to them for an event and use them then. So that way you don't have to touch tokens. You don't have to touch coins. You just use the fuse ups. And if you get another fuse up of them, like, you know, a two star gold one, do the same thing. Rinse and repeat on another event and you will be off. Next up is my, uh, my blue MP trainer, Jerry, the King Lawler. I got him out of the premium chips. He has been a monster. He is very fun to run. I've literally been using him for the past couple of days to um, literally just like in past couple of days to just clear tours. And he's so much fun to use. The, the, the shuffling of the board, the color turn, uh, color turn gems, if you put them in the right place in the right turn the, and uh, on the right turn, they can match up and explode, make wild cards. You can win the game just like that by literally spamming the color color turn gems and the um the the, the shuffling of the board. So. And he's the blue MP trainer. So I'm definitely taking him to three star silver. And now getting to him, talking about trainers. You need trainers that have a max ability at 5K, 5,000. They need to be at an overall of 5,000. And they need to be a three star silver in order to get the max efficient one. When it comes to my roster, these are the trainers that I'm working on to get the three star silver. All of my MP trainers. So MP trainers are Sting for red, Steel for green. Enzo for yellow, Lawler for blue, um, Bray for black, and who am I? And Xavier Woods for purple. If you have all six of them, get them to uh, to 5K immediately so you can get your moves off quicker. They are move charge trainers. Next up are guys that are your gem your your gem generator trainers. You know, like your ADRs. Your uh, when he's available, him and Enzo are a hit and miss. Sometimes they're in events, sometimes they're not. You gotta keep a watchful eye out. But he is the green gem trainer, just like Seth NXT, who is a free unit, is the blue gem trainer. You need your gem generator trainers. You also need gem destroy trainers for extra damage to the for your um finishers and followed by that if you don't have mp trainers i strongly advise investing in gem damage and move damage trainers to basically compensate for not having the mp until you get the mp when it comes to pulling i really suggest strongly suggest pulling during players choice and any coin events that they do like they did the wrestle or like the players appreciation they did the um anniversary coins and they did the wrestlemania coins those 
those are the best times to do your pulls. And if you're going to do your um, free to play way, then, you know, stack up to get a, get to a certain amount. I've covered in the previous videos, you know, like get up to 12 K for your premium chips. And, you know, I believe it's like get up to 300 for 300,000 um, for your two star chips. And you have a better chance of getting do love out of there. Who's a great free, a free to play unit. Next up is ABA undertaker, ABA undertaker. It covers my attitude era. I love undertaker. I love big red. He is a very dangerous unit. He's easy to get uh, sometimes out of the um, players, uh, out of the, um, the uh, mega superstars. And I also believe he was available in the two star chips as well. So he's a great unit. And I just have him there right there for, uh, for that. If I could get stone cold, Steve Austin, um, Texas rattlesnake, I would, but I'm fine with just having undertaker. And that's another thing you need to know about your roster. You need to learn to be content with your roster. You need to understand like who, uh, like, like these are your champions. Like you can choose who to take three star. You can choose who to leave behind, but also be grateful for what you have because you couldn't have them at all. Next up is Y2J. Y2J for me, I personally want to take him to three star gold as a backup, um, as a backup to um either three star gold or three star silver. Because I feel with if I'm able to pull steel with the double green and the blue, he's going to be very dangerous. And also, I'm just a fan of the Y2J. So other people that I would take the three-star gold are guys that I really do like and I'm really fans of. But I, like I said, I'm holding out for certain people. Like, I want, uh, like, for the powerhouses, I would like to have Vader. I would love to, I would love, I would love Vader over Lex Luger just because I'm a huge fan of Vader. Um, For um strikers, it would be, like, um it would have to be next big thing, Brock Lesnar. I loved him during SmackDown, during that era where he was just going through clearing people. Um, tricksters would uh, trickster would have to be Razor Ramon. I love the bad guy, great new gen unit. Um, also the undisputed future Seth because he's just such a work or workhorse in real life. I just I I want him on my crew. Um, acrobats either Macho Man and um Eddie Guerrero. Huge fan Viva La Rasa. Showboats would have to be Ric Flair and um, Hot Rod Roddy or um even Bobby Roode. I love Bobby Roode as well. And um technician. I'd say my technician pick would hands down have to be Mr. Perfect. Love Mr. Perfect. Always love Mr. Perfect. And I think that's basically like all the all the classes that I would. Yeah, I think that's all the classes. But it's like you always know who you want. And those are people that I want. Those are people that I like. I'm fans of those guys. So I'm going to go for those guys in the future. And best believe I'll be making videos. ADR is going to be three star silver because, like I said, he's a gem gen trainer. A trainer. Um, Booker T has been a day one alongside. Bray and Stardust and Sheamus and my boy Miz who's coming up. He's literally been with me since the start. He's held me down. He's got me through the content. He's required on the road. So it was only right that I took him to three star. And he's another guy like Batista who I feel is a, a good guy to who you can basically like rank up using your um, duplicate TP instead of your actual TP. So that's something to keep in mind. Um, the next page we have HBK. HBK is hands down my new gen. So my uh, so my showboats are set. I've got Andre as a legend. I've got Enzo as modern. I've got um Attitude Era ABA, and I've got HBK as new gen. He was a free to play unit. He was given out, and you also had a chance to get three star uh, like the three star variant of him during the event that he was in, as well as a three star silver fuse up of him. He is a very solid champion, and if you pl started playing during that time when he was available. He is a more viable unit than John Cena. So I would say that about him uh, definitely there. Next up, I said earlier, M Miz. Miz has been a day one, a lot of, and he's incredible with Enzo on him. He's very fast, very quick. I love running him during feuds that require raw superstars or tricksters. He he just clears people quick. He's not the most powerful, but he can get his moves so fast that it makes him dangerous. Seth NXT is going to three-star silver because he's the blue gem trainer. I also feel that he's a very viable tra champion, but you need that. That's going to get you through a lot of content, but he is necessary only at three-star silver. You don't need to take him to three-star gold because I feel like there's a deficit in his damage there. Roman Reigns has been with me. Obviously, he's free to play you as well. You can get him out of the free bag. You can get Roman anywhere. And he's a solid champion. I feel he's good, but I don't have Sting, and I feel Sting is who is, who is the one that makes him dangerous. But I'm not going to take my Bray off of um, Roman. I would rather take my uh, – no, I, 
pause that. I would not take my Bray off my cast for Roman. I would take my Bray uh, off of cast for Batista. And that's what I'm going to get to next. Having a, like one way to avoid burnout in this game with your roster is switching up your trainers once in a while. You can actually get points towards events by just doing the thing, a simple thing of swapping trainers. You know, maybe one day I want to, like, one day I want to, like, a ref, like, maybe, like, I've been running cast so long I get tired. So I decide, okay, for a month I'm going to run Batista with um, Bray and Rusev. You know, like, you do stuff like that. You make it interesting. You figure out different uh, with different champions. You figure out who works for you, who don't. Figure out different trainer setups. They, like, be, be creative. So that's how I feel about that. You definitely want to, like, switch out your trainers as well when it comes to your roster to see who works with who, who benefits who, and who doesn't, and who's just fun to use or something once in a blue moon. Next up is Goldust. Goldust is actually the striker farmer. You use his uh, power gems to get at the farm, and that's the reason why I took him up. And plus, I'm also just a huge fan, hence why I have him at striker and technician both at three-star bronze. Now, that's more than likely where they're both going to stay at, But or I might take um, tech up uh, the silver for his uh, for his move damage. I have RVD as an acrobat for my, uh, for my attitude era, but... I love RVD, but like I said, I would be cool with getting Eddie Guerrero as my attitude era substitute. Sheamus has been a day one, great with the botch gems, especially with double A or Brett to, um or um Bret Hart technician. Um Rusev, happy Rusev Day. I literally was able to take Rusev and Booker T from two star silver to two star um, I was able to take them from two star silver to two star gold and then realize after I maxed them out with all their Duke TP they could go to three star bronze in the same day so that was awesome that was really solid Daniel Bryan I bought from the from the pack that they give out for him he is a very solid trainer he is going three star silver because he is the purple uh, the purple gem trainer Kalisto is also another solid farmer I have million dollar man's the best farmer I've tried to pull for him but I got IRS instead but that's cool Kalisto's great especially now with Matt Hardy being out. And then Xavier Woods. Xavier has held me down since day one. I literally pulled him in the multi at two-star gold, and he cleared so much content for me. And legit, he wasn't even at, like, I like as soon as I got three-star KO, I forgot all about Xavier. But I have to say thank you, Xavier, because legit, without you, I wouldn't have gotten through so much, uh, so much content. I wouldn't have been able to learn how to feud properly. Xavier's going to three star silver. I might just take him to gold out of respect because he cleared so much for me. I tell you, followed up after him is Dude Love and Matt Hardy. Now, like I said earlier, I believe these guys are like trophy champions. They were a part of an event or it's like it's special. Like Dude Love is the only three star bronze available in the two star chips. When you pull him, that means something. And that's what happened. I pulled Matt Hardy first out of a silver vault. He was the first a first item out of four items in my silver vault. And then after that, I used the two-star chips, and I pulled Do Love. So both of these guys are going to go to two-star, uh, not two-star. They're going to three-star silver. Now, I might take them up to three-star gold because I, Do Love is my favorite version of Mick Foley, hands down. And I love Matt Hardy. I love the Hardys. I'm just a huge fan. Next up is um Big John Studd, who's ready to evolve. He's going to go to three-star silver because he is the red gem generator. Big E is probably going to stay at two-star gold. He is very solid with having like, you know, 30, uh, 30K in health. And he's a good little guy to like a good little buffer. And he's a great trainer. And he got me through a lot of content as well. But I feel that that's where I'm going to leave him at. He's good there. I got a, I did a fuse up for him. I think he's good to where he's at. And thank you, Big E. Next up, we got Lunatic Fringe Ambrose. Ambrose was so, I was so hyped. I put him right into a feud as soon as I pulled him. I was so happy. And he's great with, uh, with his, uh, with his, um, mobile gems he's very great with that but i'd rather run to run do love for certain but him and do love also do black move damage and that's great to have if you don't have a bray but you do have a batista or a reigns or a cast irs irs is going to go to three star three star gold not three star. yeah i could see it if i get a million dollar man i'll take him to three star gold other than that i'm just going to sit and wait it out because i need other tricksters to go up before him John Cena is going to stay where he's at because, like I said, HBK is better, uh, better than him. ABA is better than him. Andre and Enzo are way more efficient. Diamond Dallas Page destroys Yellow Gem, so he's going to be going up to three-star silver soon. 
Wonderful's going to stay where he's at. I bought him, got him out of the Shane contract. He helps you get through a lot of content, but that's where he's at, where, where he stays. Bam Bam Bigelow is going to three star, three star gold of tops. And um, I'm just a huge fan of Bam Bam. I just love uh, like the, the versatility of the of the big man. He made big men look like they could do anything. Like he was one of those bi- innovative big men. So out of respect for him and my uh, my boy Dudas Priest, he's going to three star. Um, Dean Ambrose is a silence gem trainer, so he's going to be going to three star silver for my KO. Cesaro is definitely going to three star silver because he helps out Y2J as well as Stardust and Jeff Hardy. And that's that's clutch. Baron Corbin is probably either. Ba- I'm thinking I might have a, a might because I need sh- strikers. I probably will. E- I'll probably take Anvil up before uh, before Corbin because Anvil. I love Anvil from the Heart Foundation. Kalisto is going to be uh, not Kalisto. His partner Sin Cara, who uh, who helps out with uh, with Multiply Gems. He's going to be going to three star silver. Mankind's going to stay where he's at. But I will say I for the first like real threat in feuds I ever faced was a was a three-star mankind who kept kept getting his heels back before I felt, uh, fought Enzo so I have to salute him Yokozuna is an enigma to me cuz I don't really hear anything about him but I mean he's got protect gym so he's useful for survival so for survival mode um Kane is a stri- is a, a Kane striker he's a destroys multiply gems so he would be useful for Kalisto so that is why he's probably going to go up Ric Flair, Nature Boy, is probably going to go to three-star bronze because I'm a huge fan of Ric Flair. And technician Bret Hart is incredible, taking him to three-star silver because he makes box gems for um, Sheamus and Double A. So he's going to be going because he generates gems for me. Next up is Iron Sheik. Now, I mentioned Farouk makes Iron Sheik viable, but I am not pulling for Farouk yet, so I'm, there's no need for me to touch him. And he's also another good guy that you can get Duke TP off of. A lot of these guys are. Um, Acrobat DZ is going to stay where he is. He did get me through a lot of content starting off. Same with Seth Rollins Architect, but I'm holding out for the undisputed future, so there's no need to really touch him. Diesel can stay where he's at, but I do like running him with um with HBK with the reinforced gems. I am waiting for a rated R superstar edge, point blank period. I am holding out for that. Um, so. Brood Edge can stay where he's at. I'd rather have Christian. Dean Ambrose is going to be uh, NXT. He's going to go up to three star just so I can get through hell mode unless I'm able to like get a stockpile of props. Sami Zayn's cool. I might take him up to three star bronze just because I like Sami in real life. Um, K- uh, KO Tech is going to stay where he's at because I got Trickster KO and I got Stardust. Bubba Ray may possibly go up if I don't get Braun Strowman first, because I want either Braun Strowman or Harlem Heat Booker. And if I can get them, then that'll also, that'll also help fill out my um, my showboat class. Mark Henry is only going up if I get fuse-ups of him. Same thing for Luke Harper. Um, Roman Reigns NXT has to go up for um, uh, for my um, Enzo for um, destroying heel gems so I can farm. DZ, um, Dolph Ziggler Showboat is going up because he is the yellow gem trainer, so he's going to go up to three stars silver. Big Show's going to get fused up when necessary, but not touching him. Got too much the Duke TP of him. Same with um stri- uh, for Striker Triple H. I may take him up if I want to dabble in farming more with power gems, but if not, no. And Rock is definitely going up Showboat because he is the health gem trainer. Lastly, we are we're getting close to the end. Titus O'Neil is going to be going to three star, uh, three star silver because he's the black gem, uh, gem trainer. Shane is going to stay where he is. He's too much of a hit and a miss for me. I don't feel it. Barrett's going to probably stay. If I get fuse ups of him, then cool. But I don't really run reins like that, so I don't really need him. Samoa Joe, I am a huge fan of. So with Samoa Joe, I'm probably going to take him to three star silver, even though people say he's not the best. Outlaw Undertaker is going to stay where he is. Devon is probably going to go up if uh, again if I feel like touching gold dust and farming with power gems. Kofi's definitely going to go up because he destroys more blue. He's going to be very viable, so he's going to go to three star silver alongside powerhouse Braun Strowman, who also destroys black gems for my Bray. Darren Young is a solid unit, but I don't want to touch him no more. Kane Trickster is going to go up to three star silver because he is silenced a gem, um, silenced gem damage as well as you need him for hell mode so he has to go up randy orton was cool but now that there's a vip tri- um triple h and there's um stone cold steve austin there's better reinforced gem um champions big boss man r.i.p but i don't rock with you technician um randy orton 
yeah, I was happy to get him because he has a lot of links. And that's one thing I want to cover. Some champions you just want to use for the links, like Randy Orton Viper. He has like links, like he has legacy. He has the um the modern era. He has um the you know the Wyatt family. He has so many links that it makes him useful. So you can always put them in as your second partner and just use the links to boost the guy that's ahead of him. So I could put him with Bray Wyatt, three star silver and hopefully three star gold soon, and that link would be efficient to him. So that's one thing to also keep uh, keep in mind. As you can see, VIP Triple H. But I, I'm going to take him up to three star gold because I want to get the uh, get through VIP whenever I get it. But he's not a, 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 he's not essential to me at the moment. Goldberg was a big disappointment. I remember doing multi uh, like 30, uh, 30 pulls for Goldberg. And then I realized how trash he is. I really felt that he was going to be one of the OP units, especially with like with the big return. Maybe we get a new version of him. Maybe we do. Maybe they give him a, a buff or something. I'm not certain. Then we got Rocky Mavia. Now, because I like Dude Love and he's a mobile gem damage, I will more than likely take him up, but he is not priority. My main aim is to get my three-star goals first, and then I will uh, reset, and then I'll work on my trainers, and then I'll just wait it out and see what superstars I'm able to get. And then we got the bottom, uh, the bottom of it. I got Zombie KO. I didn't really touch him because I didn't feel it necessary. The zombie um, event was cool, but it wasn't my favorite thing. So he's staying where he is. Neville's going to stay where he is. He was fun to play with, though. And if with AJ, it would make him uh, make him a little bit more fun. Ruthless, ag uh, ruthless Aggression Cena is going to stay where he's at. Ryback's going to stay where he's at. When it gets to Mahal, I'm going to wait for a pull for Mahal the same way I'm going to wait for a pull for Shinsuke and maybe even Kurt Angle to get their three-star variants in, in, in Maltese or maybe like four, or four superstar pulls. But everybody else, like from Finn Balor to Junkyard Dog, all those guys, all these units, um, Finn Balor Demon, um, the, the Demon to Big Red Machine Kane, although he is fun to run, even at 755, I was able to find a lot of enjoyment running um, Big Red Kane. So if I did need a uh, Attitude Era guy, I know I know who to call up in Big Red Kane. Unless, but I'm hoping for Phenom Undertaker, Phenom Undertaker for Powerhouse. I got Greg the Hammer. He's good. But I can use him for fodder and on the side for Nature Boy Ric Flair. And then the Brett, uh, Brett Hitman Trickster, um, Y2J List, British Bulldog, solid. But row break uh, the Road Break Trainer isn't out yet. So no need to really invest in him just yet. Um, Chain Gang Cena, love Dr. Thugonomics, not a great unit. Love Ra Ravishing Rick Rude too. And if I don't, if, I, if there's not another real good legend technician that comes out, then I'll probably take Rick up. It's all good. And Junkyard Dog, mad respect to him, but fodder, just fodder. And Shinsuke, like I said, I want to get a fuse up for Shinsuke, so that's what I'm waiting out on. And that is basically the roster. Um, I apologize for being long-winded, but I wanted to cover everything. Like I said, you want to make sure you do a save, your, your leveling up, your TP, your enhancements, your fuse ups, all that for events. You want to decide who to work on your roster, who's worthy of taking up the three-star uh, three gold, Who's uh, who are your people that you're going to settle on being at three-star bronze or silver, and if they're going to be three-star silver, make them viable champions like heavy hitters, as well as your trainers. I highly recommend knowing what kind of trainers you have. If you got MP, if you got gem gen, um, generation, gem destroy, destruction, then by all means, you know, take them to three-star silver. If you don't have those, then you settle for the, the for the uh, for the gem and the move damage uh, damage trainers, and that's always good. Um, you always want to pull for people that you want and people that you like that you look up to or you grew up with, and that'll make it more important. Um, you can uh, make sure to use your fuse ups for um, uh, for those enhancing events on superstars that you don't have no real interest in, but you got the fuse up so you can use that to get more points towards milestones. Uh, Switch up your roster once in a while with trainers and pick different champions that you run, depending on the size of your roster, so you can figure out how to you like optim optimally like you optimally use every champion in your roster because you never know what the requirements are going to be for blitzes and fuse. Always try to do your best to get a roster that uh, where you can get to the point where you can have twenty four champions, four of each of the six um, types for um legend, modern, um, modern era attitude and um, new gen so that you can be covered in future uh, events as well. And, um, you know, ultimately just have fun, be patient. 
um, hoard, uh, hoard all your inventory, like open all the bags during events and just you know, hit it hard and just know who to use as fodder, who to keep as fodder. Who's the, whoever's getting taken up needs to have a purpose. Your three-star golds are going to be your go-to hitters. Your three-star silvers are going to be your trainers. Your three-star bronzes can be guys and, uh, and soon girls that you like, that you that you're fans of or whatnot. And three-star golds should definitely be people that are like maximum efficient, like go-to heavy like hitters of your of your um of your roster, so that you can always have somebody representative for every single. The, um, class and type so you can be able to do different uh, different events and get better rewards and also just enjoy the game the way you really want to play it so that's literally the the, the video i i thank you if you watch this video if you watch this video i am grateful for you leave a like and c comment that you watch this video till the end i will salute you i will salute you and i will drop your names in future videos just because you did that my phone even died we were that long-winded but i'm glad we got this video done though and make sure to like it dislike it leave a comment if you need help with your roster hit me up on here drop a drop a comment and also hit me up on twitter or my facebook page and i will get to you i give you my word i want to help you build up to the roster that you're meant to have and um that's basically it so like dislike comment subscribe if you're new smash that bell turn on the notifications i'm yours truly crown arizona zeke 410 family first royalty always roster showcase and advice and tips please please share drop your drop your thoughts ask your questions i'm here for you stay tuned for the future wwe champions content peace